about the structural and electric properties of uranium, drop, type, value, etc. The magnetic material generally forms an important role in our future planet. Everything beside us contains magnetic materials. One of the most important magnetic materials is the exoterites. The exoterites uh, are divided into different types. There is neutral exoterite, I-type exoterite, Z-type exoterite, different types. These types are also divided into two uh, parts, the soft exoterites and the hard exoterites. One of the most important hard exoterites is the so-called barium exoterites, which has the formula of the Magnetic ion. And anyone else? 
atoms can replace the uh, iron by a, a mixture of uh, ions such as uh, vanadium with copper or vanadium with uh, zinc or copper with uh, zinc or titanium also the battery could be replaced by other ions such as uh, europium could be replaced by barium or a mixture of ions uh, strontium could be replaced by barium at the same time vanadium could be replaced by iron in our work we at this uh, project we work on the replacing of iron ions by vanadium okay. The experimental procedure that we follow in this work is the, we calculate very precisely the nuclear cells and then we uh, wait in them and run them into the high energy ball cleaning machine uh, and then sintering the powder out of the ball cleaning machine after making it like a, a, a small disc with a one centimeter of the okay. The center Samples, the center material will be characterized by three methods. The first one is the X-ray method. We uh, get the data from the X-ray machine and fit it to determine what is the three different phases that will be found in this material. Then we study the morphology and the particle size using the static electron microscopy and then we plot the Magnetic properties using the vibrating sound magnetism. Okay, this is our uh, system. BA12 minus X BX O19. The X-ray diffraction process was as follows. This is the X-ray pattern for the pure sound. This is this is our equals to zero, which means that there is no uh, replacing uh, ion uh, in this in this sample. We can see that uh, there is a pure phase, there is no any impurity in this sample. Uh, it fitted exactly with the factors uh, in the uh, literature. Okay. <coughs> then, for x equals 0.1, we got a very small signature of a vanadium uh, validate, which is EFB B2O8, value validate, and a small alpha. Um, uh, signature for you. This happened because uh, the vanadium, the vanadium, uh, chose to react to the barium, so there is an, a, a small amount of iron still without uh, without barium to interact, uh, and this makes that iron uh, irritate. If we increase the concentration for S equals 42, we can see that the alpha iron is increasing and the vanadium is. For this sequence, point uh, three, the same thing again, but now we can see that the rate of increase of alpha is much larger than the magnetic increase rate, and this is because of the uh, fact that each uh, mole of barium reacting with the magnetic leaves five and, uh, or six moles of iron without reacting. So we can see the iron phase is growing larger or faster than the radium phase. Okay. And this is very clear for the point for example, the alpha is approximately reach the top or the maximum peak of the uh, entire phase of the Okay. When we reach for uh, x equals 0.5, the maximum peaks for the value for the value of any piece of the rise looks like an impurity. Uh, according to the uh, this high intensity alpha peak, and the, the value of intensity is larger than the main peak of the value of n. This could provide us uh, an idea that the vanadium do not replace the iron. On the other hand, it interacts with the value and uh, for uh, segregated ions of this impurity or this, uh, this uh, another phase because the value is larger, is, is uh, growing largely and so quickly we got this side okay. if we draw the uh, relation between the lattice parameters A and C uh, with the concentration A is uh, the 
cell of death and seen as the height of the cell, of the example of the cell, we can see that approximately there is no difference, there is a very slight difference in these dense parameters due to doping these samples with vanadium, which uh, make the, our idea stronger that the vanadium do not enter inside the hexaferrite system and so the hexaferrite has its own structure without any change or any visible change. Okay. We also calculate the from treating uh, XRD patterns, we calculate the crystal uh, size and we found that the crystal size and the basal plane uh, is much larger than the crystal size and the uh, uh, axial plane. To get another uh, information about this new phase, which is the bandit, we uh, did a uh, heat treatment for our samples. So we prepared uh, different samples. I here will show you one of them, uh, which is uh, for x equals 0.5. Uh, we heat it and heated it at uh, a temperature of 1100. Okay. We can see here the alpha ion for the 0.5 as we saw it uh, before. But now, this for 1,200 uh, spirits, we can see that as very small difference happened, uh, which indicates that there is no uh, fusion of vanadium inside the barium uh, crystal. But at 1,030, we can see that the uh, intensity of the alpha ion was increased, also the vanadium, and a little bit increasing of entire piece was noticed, which means that there is a small stability of vanadium at this high temperature. So we have an argument that the vanadium did not or do not does not go inside the crystal except for high temperature, but it may go inside but with a non-noticeable uh, rate. For this reason, I will not show you it here, we uh, calculated theoretically the weight percent of the validate inside uh, our sample and then we uh, calculate it experimentally and we found that the validate weight is smaller than the experimental one. The smaller than the vertical one, which if an information that there is a small amount of vanadium go inside and they diffuse inside the, the, the crystal of barium F, but with a very small uh, amount. Okay. We can see here that uh, for 100, 1030, uh, the crystal, the red parameters A and C get larger and this because of the particle growth uh, at higher temperatures. When we see the uh, scanning electron microscope, this picture or uh, image for the sample, for the new sample, we can see a delicate, uh, uh, a delicate picture of the small grains inside the sample. Uh, the size is about from 3 nanometers to about 500 nanometers with an average of 450. But after increasing the vanadium for the different uh, concentrations, we can see here for x equals 0.1, we got a smaller particle size. Uh, also here, uh, but for x equals 0.3, 0.4, we uh, have a larger particle inside the sample and uh, as a matter of fact the particle size of uh, the samples will affect the magnetic properties of the sample. The particle size is connected directly with the coercivity of the this magnetic material as we will see but in general we can see that the average particle size for the different samples uh, are uh, smaller than the particle or other structure size of the pure sample. Okay. This uh, graph shows the particle size change with the concentration. We can see that this equals one to be one to be smaller than the particle size, but they are always uh, near to each other, from 300 to 380 also. Okay. Now, the VSM or the magnetic uh, results 